Hello, this is Rory with the Love Chat, and today's topic is growing attraction. Now, this is video number 198. If you have a question you'd like for me to consider featuring on the Love Chat, please write it in a comment below. And if you enjoy my videos, I would be so very grateful if you'd subscribe and hit like. Also, if you'd like to do voice or email coaching, be sure to visit my website, thelovechat.net slash coaching. Now then, let's talk about how to grow attraction. Now, while this one will help for breakup situations, this is more geared towards dating. So for those of you looking for more dating videos, this one is for you. So the context here is that it's somebody you're dating or somebody that you'd like to date. Perhaps you've identified somebody who maybe you haven't asked out yet. This is the context which this video is most useful. Like I said, it will be helpful in other areas, but let's dive right in. I think some of the greatest issues that it comes to when we think about growing attraction is that we think that everything needs to be this calculated, planned out way of being. And in reality, you want to be a human. Have a human conversation. Talk to the person. Get to know them. What are their interests? You'll find that Mother Nature takes care of 90% of the interaction. If they look at you and they are interested enough in you to give you a try, they will. And all you need to do is be an interesting person and more importantly, be an interested person. Talk to them. What are they about? What do they like? Listen. And within this, you'll find that if you practice it, it works quite well. Because the other person wants to know that you are interested enough for them to feel safe to want to share more. And so you're so busy thinking about what must I do rather than how can I get them to feel. And though it's just a change of mentality, it works quite well. If the person feels like you actually give a shit about what's coming out of their mouth, they're much more likely to share. So the second thing I want to talk about is related to the first thing, and that is give them your undivided attention when you're with them. Put the phone down. You don't need any selfies right now. You don't need to check Instagram. It's okay. Snapchat will be fine without you for a couple of minutes. Show this person your undivided attention when you are with them. Nothing says, hey, I give a shit about you and what you're about and what you're saying more than number three, which is eye contact. Simply look them in the eye when you're talking to them. Now, this one does a couple of things because it shows that you're confident and you can look them right in the eye and have a conversation with them. And you're doing so not with an intense gaze. You're doing so because you are engaged. And typically when we're engaged, especially when we're enjoying something, we'll stare at it. We'll make contact with it. And actually, funny enough, when we like something, our pupils dilate. So some good eye contact and a warm smile goes a long way, and it lets the person know that, hey, I give a shit about what you're saying. So after that is number four, which is that when you're with them, you're with them. And when you're not with them, you're with you. When you're not on a date with them, you're on a date with you. You're interested in you. You're pursuing your passions. You're doing things that excite you and make you feel good about your life. You get to know yourself. When you're not on a date with someone else, you're on a date with you. It's important to remember that. It's important to love yourself and date yourself. And remember that you are in a relationship with you as well as everybody else in your life. So consider your relationship just as important, if not more important, than the relationship with everybody else. And now you might ask, well... Yeah, that's well and good, but how is that going to grow attraction, right? That's what this video is about. And the answer is that when you're in a good relationship, a healthy relationship with yourself, you're more likely to enforce boundaries. And those boundaries are born out of self-love. And nothing is more sexy and charming than somebody who's confident, who loves themselves, and who stands up for themselves, who won't accept a bad deal, a raw deal. And sometimes in relationships, they're basically one bad deal after another. So after this point, we talk about the last one for today, which is to talk about your passions. In other words, what lights a fire under your ass? What excites you? Nothing is more attractive than seeing somebody who has that fire in their eyes when they talk about a particular subject, because it shows that you're actively engaged in your life. You're not just sitting at home, staring at the wall while the paint dries all day. You actually have things that excite you, things that you enjoy. And if you don't, well, hey, at least you're actively looking for them. So you can talk about the new things that you've been doing in order to search for what you enjoy. Maybe it's skydiving or playing paintball or rock climbing or 
doing a paint and sip class or maybe cooking, whatever it might be, talk about it. Because if this person is really worth investing in, they'll want to hear about you just as much as you want to hear about them. All in all, I feel like you guys know how to have good dates, but I think what gets in the way is the anxiety, and so that kind of calls back the idea that we should always be working on ourselves so that our anxiety is far more manageable, and situations tend to turn out much better for ourselves. An abundance mentality is helpful when it comes to dating. So I think, as long as you achieve those things, and you act like a human, you're going to have a good interaction. That's all I had for today. If you found my video helpful, I'd be very grateful if you'd subscribe and hit like. Please drop me a comment and let me know what you thought of this video. Additionally, if you'd like extra videos every week, private live streams with me, and free giveaways of my best-selling book on Amazon, just visit my Patreon, patreon.com slash thelovechat. Until next time.